We're David and David, and you're at Outsider Tart in London, an American-style bakery, and today we're going to show you some tips and tricks on frosting and finishing cakes. I'm going to show you how to make pineapple frosting. So what we have here is everything we're going to need to make a pineapple frosting. We've started out in our mixing bowl with uh, six cups of powdered sugar. We have 12 ounces of softened butter, and that's not salted butter, but sweet butter. We have three-fourths of a cup of pineapple juice. Now you can use, I happen to be using pineapple puree in this case, um, but you can use pineapple juice, which comes out perfectly fine, and you can also use canned pineapple if you want to have a little uh, chunks in there, which gives nice texture and looks good. That's absolutely fine. And the last thing we have is some lemon. Um, the main issue with this pineapple frosting is the pineapple itself is quite sweet and there's a lot of sugar in this and you want to be able to pull out the citrus flavor again from the pineapple. So we add lemon juice into it to help cut back some of the sweetness and and pull out the citrusy taste of the pineapple as well as the sweet taste. So what we're doing first before we actually put it on our mixer is blending together with our paddle the sugar, the butter, and the juice to sort of make a nice mass out of it so we don't create a lot of dust cloud with our powdered sugar when we start mixing. We then put that on a medium high speed and cream until we have a nice smooth consistent texture. While that's creaming, I'm going to squirt in the half of a lemon that we've made, keeping out the pips is always a good thing. There we go. And there we go. So now we have a nice yellow, smooth texture. So as you can see, the texture's not quite right. It's still a little damp, and it looks slightly curdled, which just means that it needs a little more powdered sugar. So we add a little bit, about a half a cup. And again, just fold that in so you don't have it kicking out of your bowl. Hey, if it does kick out of your bowl, that's all right too. Just spend a little extra time cleaning up. I personally am inherently lazy and prefer not to spend my life cleaning up after the mess I've created. So try to be a little neat, and we mix all that in. That's looking very nice. Put our paddle back in, and put it on a medium high speed again for a couple of minutes to smooth everything out. And we should almost be there. Look at that. I made a mess. And that's looking good. The frosting's starting to pull away from the sides of the bowl. Um, it's clinging. We have ribboning. And it is possible to overmix your frosting. And that's another thing you should pay close attention to. So don't just leave it churning on its own. Um, if you overmix, what you're doing is you're going to whip in air bubbles. So when you're actually spreading that frosting, on whatever you're spreading it on, whether it be a cake or a muffin or your cupcakes, um, it will it will pull and it'll bubble and it won't run on smoothly. It, it will actually look quite chunky instead, which isn't nice. So don't overmix. Now you can feel it as you put your paddle through that it's really thick and you have good resistance. The best test is to take your paddle and you should have a very firm frosting. So that is done. And that's how you make pineapple frosting. 